nice to see you here, Stefan, in Prague, so near to Poland. Uh, nice to see you. Yeah, it's good to be here. Um, nice to uh, fight close to home. And um, yeah, it's a good experience. Always good to be in a new country. Why did I say about Poland? Because uh, on your roster you have uh, a new record. Uh, you've got some Polish uh, fighters like Daniel Milanczuk and also uh, Marcin Tybura. Um, I would like to ask about this uh, submission fight, uh, submission win over the Daniel uh, Milanczuk. Uh, was it hard uh, to fight with him uh, in stand-up? Um, yeah, he was a good kickboxer and um, I had to, um, to um, figure him out a little bit for sure. Um, you know, I was able to take the fight to the ground because I felt I had the bigger advantage there. But uh, he's a good fighter. He's, he's very tough. Yeah. Yes. And about Marcin Tavora, your last fight, um, he won by decision. And uh, do you agree with this decision? And uh, how did you remember? How do you remember the fight with Marcin? Yeah, I know. He, he was the better fighter that night. Um, he had the takedowns. He didn't do too much with the takedowns. He landed some shots on the ground, but the takedowns scored him the points. Um, I had some good moments in the stand-up, but he was, you know, overall the better fighter in that fight. So, you know, he, he won that night. Um, it is what it is. Yes. Uh, and about your fight here in UFC Prague, um, your uh, opponent, uh, Marcos Rogero de Lima, uh, isn't that high as you are, but mm, almost none of here in the UFC highweight, uh, uh, heavyweight uh, division is. So, uh, do you think that this will be the main advantage over him for you? If I use it to my advantage, for sure, you know, I, I, if I shouldn't fight with him, because he, he likes a brawl. The, the best way for him to fight is to get into a brawl. And um, if I do that, I'm stupid. I need to stay away from him, use my long kicks, long punches, and uh, if I can take the fight to the ground, I also believe that the advantage is there for me. So, If you could say a couple words about your opponent, if you would like to say him something nice, uh, what do you think, what, what would it be? How do you see him? Well, he's, a, he's a good fighter, man, you know, and he earned his spot on the roster. Um, I'm looking forward for it this, this Saturday. I think it's going to be uh, an interesting clash of styles. Um, I think the way he fights uh, plays right into my game, and I'm looking forward to it. So. How many fans will come for you here in Prague? Um, there's a bunch of people coming, but uh, before my fight was announced, it was already sold out because it was really quick. So, but you know, I got a good reception yesterday at the, the open workouts at the mall, and uh, I think the people here are really into the UFC and into MMA. So it's going to be a great show. We know that UFC is coming back to London. Then also, it's not official, but also in St Saint Petersburg. Uh, some news from yesterday are that uh, this will be next fight on June, uh, next uh, UFC goal on, uh, in June on uh, uh, in Sweden, as uh, as I think. Uh, so we can see that UFC is coming to Europe quite often, uh, and it's uh, quite good for us. Like, yeah, of course, you know, it's always good for them to go into new countries, and you know, you see it here. There were like, I don't know how many people, but like three stories of people yesterday just at open workouts. You know, people are really excited, and um, yeah, the UFC brand is, is expanding. So. Do you see that uh, people are much more interested in uh, MMA in last years here in Europe? Um, well, it depends on the country, you know. Um, every country is different. Um, over here, they are really, uh, really looking forward to the fights. Okay. Yeah. Stefan, I thank you very much for, for the speech and uh, also I will see you at the event on Saturday. Thank you.